Hello everyone, welcome to Ian's Bricks, I'm Ian. I'm just walking through Bargate in uh, Southampton. It's uh, Bank Holiday Monday, the 1st of May, and uh, it's Star Wars Day. Uh, it's basically loads of uh, new Star Wars products and other things as well in the Lego store. Fantastic uh, thing, this Bargate is behind me. And uh, yeah, so it's just, after, just before 8 o'clock in the morning. It's nice and quiet in Southampton city centre for once. Um, so yeah, um, got an hour before the Lego store opens, so nice and early. Uh, so let's go and have a look and see what they've got, or see who's waiting first of all. Uh, if there's a queue already, probably there will be. Look, I'm actually this early, early they're just opening up the West Quay Centre, so we can't actually get into the shopping centre yet. Outside the entrance to the store they had this big sandwich board here which listed all the different uh, special offers and free gifts and double VIP points, all the offers that were on today in store. Nice of them to list everything. Uh, here's me waiting in the queue. The shutters were down at this particular time uh, outside Lego stores. There was only seven people in front of me in the queue which was good uh, and what they did have is they had an extra queuing area at the back there uh, ready for when it got busy later. Uh, but they did actually open the store nice and early as you can see. This is about, about uh, five past ten past eight. They opened the shutters they came out and what they did is they went down the line everybody in the queue and uh, they got the orders for them and sorted them out on their phones and, and I was able to buy everything nice and early so it's quarter past eight so what they actually did is uh, they opened the store shutters we can't go actually in the store but what they're doing is they're going down the line there's not many people here yet taking their orders on obviously the handheld phones um, I've got my order already, so I've bought everything that I want, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the car, uh, drop this off so I'm not sort of carrying it around, and then I'm going to come back in here so I can actually go into the store and take some shots of some of the new sets. Uh, I won't show you everything that I've got yet in this bag, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to head off back to the car. Uh, but yeah, very efficient. Well done Southampton for sort of doing something like that. I mean, for them to open it uh, just literally just after 8 o'clock, very, very impressive. They don't officially open till nine, so we can't actually go in the store until nine o'clock. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Southampton. So back to the car and I'll come back here. And once we get to nine o'clock, I'll be able to have a, a quick browse around the store itself. So as you can see, I've been given exclusive access to the store to just do a bit of filming, which is really, really kind of the uh, people at Southampton for letting me do this. It's still before nine o'clock, uh, but uh, yeah, I've been able to get in. There's nobody else in the store at all. There's no staff around. They're all at the front of the, the shop taking orders from people in the queue. So yeah, thank you very much for letting me in. In store they'd made uh, a little display with all of the free gifts, so there was the Death Star there uh, and they had the um, the coin and the little X-Wing there. Nice of them to have everything on display so people could see what they were getting. Uh, this is new here, this is sort of the uh, Little Mermaid sort of shell thing that they've done for Disney. Uh, nice big set this one, uh, proper minifigures as well which is good to see. Uh, that's an interesting one, so that was new today. Here's the X-Wing, uh, this is the uh, brand new X-Wing that was out today as well. Um, quite an expensive set. Here's some of the other sets available. Uh, there was the, the Super Star Destroyer, the smaller version. These are the Brickheads here, it's the uh, Battle of Endor. Uh, Brickheads had some older sets as well, so some of the helmets, although most of these were new this year. Plenty of those on stock and display. Uh, this is new as well, this uh, Mandalorian uh, Fang Fighter. $89.99. That's quite a lot for that, but never mind. Uh, here's the X-Wing. Uh, someone had bought one of those already, I think, by the look of it. Uh, $209.99 in the UK. So quite an expensive set, but it's big. Uh, there is a couple of other new sets as well. Um, there was the, um, the Endor thing there, which is quite nice. The dioramas there. And someone had, these are mocks, so these aren't available for sale, but someone had built these uh, helmets in different colours. I think they look fantastic. Uh, so that's British Stuart uh, that did those are British. They look really, really good. So nice them for the store to display those. Here's some of the other uh, diorama sets here and some of the newer sets. This uh, pirate snub there. Uh, there's the Emperor's Throne Room. That's a new set out today as well. Uh, $89.99, again quite expensive for these dioramas. Here's the Brickheads, a few of those had sold already as you can see, they seem to be fairly popular. Do like that. Uh, this is new as well, this Technic Peugeot uh, vehicle, huge, another one of these huge vehicles that they do. They had that on display as well. Um, so yeah, that's quite an expensive set, $169.99, so you get quite a lot for your money for that. Uh, this is also new, this Ant-Man uh, construction figure. It sort of goes with the rest of the construction figures which they had on display as well. That looks okay. I'm not a huge fan of those, but they're all right. 
29 uh, and here's a close-up of the uh, free gifts again the x-wing there's the death star there you can see my shadow in the background and there's the coin uh, on display so yeah nice to have all of those on display Here I am then, back home. Uh, so yeah, back home nice and early today. Uh, great thing that the uh, Lego store opened early. Uh, I think it was a really good thing to do. I mean, first thing sort of when I was there at sort of uh, eight, ten past eight, um, there was a really only a few people, but it just meant that they could sort of make a start and get in orders process. I mean, I guarantee they will be busier. I did see some um, pictures of some queues outside of some of the other stores, Lego stores uh, in the UK today, and some really, really big long lines there. So well done, Southampton, for, uh, for at least uh, managing to get... Uh, some of the early orders processed and done and dusted and out of the way. Um, so yeah, really, really good to be able just to sort of go um, get all my stuff and uh, take a little bit of video as you saw and uh, and then back home again. So uh, let me show you what I've actually bought. Um, so I'm going to put this on the floor so it makes it a little bit easier. So we'll look at um, three gifts first of all. So spend over £35 and you get this nice little poly bag here, an X-Wing Starfighter 30654. Uh, nothing too special, no mini figures with this, but it's a nice nice enough little set so nice to get that uh, for um, a free gift and we also got where is it for spending over um, was it 80 pounds 90 pounds I can't even remember the threshold anyway whatever that was is uh, an unusual one here Oops, a piece of card has fallen out there we go so it's this thing here it's a little box uh, and inside you open that up I think the card was just in top there um, there is a um, sort of a, a plastic piece here um, and uh, you get a coin as well so I'll show you that in a little bit more detail uh, in a second so that's the second uh, second free gift there and then I had a third free gift which is over £130 which of course is the best one it's this nice little Death Star here I like this uh, 40591 again no many figures with this but uh, you get sort of a small version smallish version micro scale version of the Death Star which I think looks really good you get this uh, 40th uh, return of the Jedi um, um, printed tile here as well uh, and I just think it looks really nice you can see the back of it here so you sort of got it I think it's uh, yeah from the from the um, when they were rebuilding the Death Star wasn't it in the uh, in the Return of the Jedi obviously that it wasn't fully complete so I like how they've done that so really nice free gift with purchase um, and so what did I buy so I had to spend over £130 on Lego Star Wars so uh, the first thing I got, which was a new set, and I'm going to be building this, uh, is this lovely little thing here. So Brickheads, you know I like my Brickheads. Um, this is the uh, Battle of Endor Heroes. Uh, again, really nice, uh, really nice set here. I like all the figures on here. Probably my least favourite is probably R2-D2, just because it's a little blocky and square. I think they maybe should have rounded, tried to round that off a little bit. But the rest of them look really, really good. I particularly like Wicket. I think the Wicket uh, brick head looks really, really good. But I also like the rest of them, really. And Princess Leia with a sort of uh, her Endor outfit on here. You've got uh, Lando there, and you've got um, uh, you've got Mark, uh, Mark Hamill. Uh, you've got Luke Skywalker, sorry, in his sort of uh, in his uh, dark getup there. So really nice. I'm going to look forward to building this because I don't build too many sets at the moment. But yeah, I really like that. I've just noticed actually on the uh, the Wicket, you get obviously a printed towel there with sort of a little bit of uh, fur coming out which I think is quite cute so looking forward to building that one so that was number one and the other ones are just Lego investment stuff so we've got uh, this here which is a Republic tank uh, 75342 I've picked up a few of these recently these are 40 pounds in the UK 40 pounds as well for the um, in the UK for the uh, Brickhead set as well. Uh, a double VIP points as well on all Star Wars purchases. So I've got double VIP points on those two sets there, which is fantastic. Um, and I also got this set here, Ambush on Ferrex. Now this is quite an expensive set, seventy pounds. It is quite pricey, uh, seven five three three eight. Uh, but you get some three decent minifigures there, 
Um, I'm not sure whether they're all exclusive, but they certainly look quite good. Uh, quite a nice little set as well. It's small, but it's it's nice how it sort of all opens up and you can get inside there. Uh, but they were had a special offer for this set, and there were a few other sets as well. But this one in particular was five times VIP points. So what that basically means is that you basically get 25% off that. So whatever 25% of 70 pounds is, can't work it out in my head just yet. Um, so so I don't actually get that off off my purchase, but I get to use those points at another time so my buy-in price for this will still be the 70 pounds which is what it costs in store uh, but nice to get those VIP points uh, which I'll be able to use at another time um, and I also bought while I was in there uh, they had the new um, minifigures the um, the Disney series minifigures and there's a couple that I specifically wanted. I'll open these in a second to show you which uh, which two I've got. They were only allowing you to get to one of each particular kind per person, but they'd already sorted through them in the Lego store, so they're able to pick out the ones uh, that people were asking for. So these are the two that I've got. I'll open those in a minute, and hopefully I've got the ones that I wanted. Um, so what I want to do is I want to show you close up uh, the uh, the coin first of all. Let's have a closer look at this coin then. So a really nice uh, box actually, I have to say to start with. As you can see, I've already opened it. Um, but um, yeah, quite a nice little box in there. Uh, and you get this little piece of card here. And what that does is it tells you how to sort of um, stand this up so you can display it in the box, put the piece of card behind. Uh, but here is the actual coin and the sort of whatever this uh, piece is here. And it's just sort of a, a plastic uh, blue printed piece here. You've sort of got an overlay sort of of the, uh, you can't see it on the white there, you can see it on the black better of the, of the Death Star. So when you put it over the coin, it sort of looks like a schematic kind of uh, thing. Uh, and the coin itself, it's actually quite nice. It's not particularly heavy, it's got a little bit of weight to it. But you sort of got the, uh, the Death Star on the front of it there. Uh, and then on the back, the sort of the Lego Star Wars logo there. So yeah, it's quite a nice thing. Um, as I say, you can uh, use this piece of card to um, to prop this up, see how well that works. Yeah, that just sort of fits behind there, and the idea is is that you pop the coin in there like that. Let's get it straight and pop this bit over the top like that. I'm not sure I would actually display it in the box like that because it you know a little bit weird from the back, but it works quite well. Uh, so that's quite nice. Uh, so let's get into these minifigures and have a look at these. So these are the two that I got. Uh, they do feel different here. I'm going to open this one first of all. Let's have a look. Oh, we get an extra piece of plastic in there. Oh, okay. So what else do we get? Let's have a look. So these are all the bits here. So this is a nice touch first of all. So the base plate has got the Disney 100 uh, logo on it there, which is quite nice. And we have the uh, the Mickey Mouse um, Fantasia uh, kind of wizard wizard set here. So let's pop that all together. Here we have the completed figure then. So uh, yeah, nice uh, nice set here. The head and uh, hat are all sort of one piece uh, molded in. Uh, you've got printing obviously on the front. It's sort of obviously he's got his cape on. I wonder whether they would have done better putting an actual cape on it rather than doing it this way. But uh, that's what they've decided to do. And you obviously get this sort of broom piece uh, and the bucket as well that goes with that. Let's pop that there. Let's uh, let's open the uh, other bag and see what uh, which one we've got. And hopefully we've got the right one. Move Mickey out of the way. Oops. There we go. So yeah, we've got it here. So we've got Pinocchio, and I was particularly interested to get this one because we have a minifigure with a nose, which is obviously I think the first time that I'm aware that they've done this. So let's get this all together. Here we have the completed piece then. So we've got Pinocchio obviously with his nose. Uh, the uh, hair and the hat comes all sort of in one. Really, really nice printed pieces here. We've got some mid-sized legs there, uh, which look great. Some back printing as well on the back. And I do like this goldfish in the goldfish bowl. I think that's a really, really nice piece as well. So really pleased to get both of those minifigures there.
That's everything then. So I think that was a really successful visit to the Lego store. Uh, I knew it would be busy being Star Wars days, but great that the store was able to open. I was able to get all of the sets that I wanted to get, which is fantastic. I want to look forward to building uh, this brick headset here. Uh, and then the free gifts as well. I actually quite like them. I mean, look, Le Le Lego are never going to be able to win. Last year they did this um, uh, um, set, the uh, Lars homestead kitchen thing with a minifigure uh, and a lot of people said oh is that all we're getting this year but i think these are okay i mean the poly bags are okay uh, this death star thing here i think it looks quite nice it's it's nothing majorly special no minifigures or anything but uh, it's still quite a nice set and obviously you get this little death star as well which again i really really like so there's no minifigures at all with any of the, the free gifts but at the end of the day they're free uh, i think lego do sort of try and mix it up a little bit so you're not getting the same old thing year after year um, and really pleased with my purchase as well. A couple of things for investment, but uh, I'll say I'll be building that. So, uh, yeah, thank you to all the staff at Southampton working really, really hard they were this morning. Uh, you know, they were in well before eight o'clock, so they've all had a really, really early start, and it's going to be a long day for them. Uh, so I always appreciate the, the help that they're able to provide to me uh, and to everybody else that was sort of waiting in the queue. I think that was a really great idea to open early. So uh, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, Lego store visit in Hall. Uh, thank Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. See you then. Bye.